All right, in today's video, we're going to do a review and demonstration of the Gulu GP4000 battery and car starter. A couple of things I want to show you. It comes with several accessories. All right, so some of the accessories it comes with are, for example, a 12 volt to cigarette lighter style adapter. Uh, it comes with several charging cables, USB-C to USB-C, USB to USB-C, and you'll need these if you, uh, to charge it. Uh, of course, it comes with the jumper cables, um, which has a uh, adapter on it that will go into the unit itself. Now, the actual unit has a couple of different uh, things you probably need to know. One of them is the status of the charge. So if you press that, it'll light up one at a time. If you hold it long enough, it turns the flashlight on. You hold it down and turn it off. There is a small USB-C. This is where you charge this unit from. Uh, the other two are outputs and they're, they're rated for different amperages. Um, actually, this one has capability to do nine volt. This one is strictly five volt. And it has a 12 volt uh, output as well. Um, it's rated for 4,000 amps. All right, it comes with an easy to understand, well-written manual, which I really appreciate. A uh, couple of things that uh, you want to make sure before you use it, make sure it's got a full charge. And this is especially true if you're going to use it to jumpstart anything. You want to make sure it's at least 50% charge. I prefer to have a full charge on it. Um, if it sits around for a couple of months, you may want to charge it before you store it in your vehicle or wherever you're going to, to use it. Anyway. I'm going to go take this out. We're going to do a few jump starts and just show you how it works. All right, so we're getting ready to do this lawnmower. We've actually disconnected the positive lead. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to go over first before we go any further. One of them is once we plug this in, it's going to automatically turn that on. Um, should you happen to connect reverse polarity, which I'm going to do this intentionally, it's going to give you a red light and that's basically telling you hey this is reverse polarity so let's do it correctly I'm going to do of course black to positive uh, black to negative red to positive that would give us a solid green light now this is a good battery so what i have done is disconnected the positive and I'm going to basically attempt to start this with just the, just the uh, external battery. Um, what they say to do, if we had got low voltage, we'd get a flashing green light. But if you press the boost button, you'll get a steady green light. You've got 30 seconds to start the vehicle. And yeah, I only kept it running for a few seconds. So you can see this device had plenty of power to start this mower. So let's uh, go on to the next. All right, so the next one I'm going to try to turn over with the uh, booster battery is this old Evinrude uh, 90 horsepower engine that we've been working on. Uh, it has no fuel connected. I don't expect it to start. The only thing I'm looking for is for it to turn over. So let me go ahead and uh, get this hooked up. Again, it's turned off. Plugging it in is going to turn it on. Now, the button that we're going to press is called the boost button. Uh, that's what it's labeled as. So, let's get this connected. This is the positive. One thing I'm a little concerned about is the corrosion on this old cable. Let's see how this goes. Once you hit the boost button, you've got 30 seconds of, uh, I guess, high output. So, green light is on. Now, I will mention, um, the innards of this has been, have been well lubricated so that uh, we can turn it over without damaging anything. But that is actually extremely impressive. Uh, i got to say that I'm actually surprised a little bit, but pleasantly so. All right, so next step is let's do a Subaru. Um, I've got this battery disconnected. 
I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that we've done, which is put this in here. I'm going to connect the clamps, in this case to the battery cable. Um, then what I'm going to do is again hit the boost button. Once it turns green, uh, we'll give it a crank and see if it starts. Good. Uh, it's turned green. Yes, it's actually lighting the car up. Turn it on. There we go. Again, I'm impressed. Uh, this thing is actually driving all the electronics in the car while we were doing this as well, which is doubly impressive. Well. All right, now I'm going to jump start a truck. We got this uh, 2018 Tacoma, and uh, we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing so far, which is hook this up. Battery is actually disconnected. Back to negative. And then I'm going to hit the boost button and we've got 30 seconds to start it up. Let's get the tools out of the way. It's green, go ahead. Here we go. All right, so that was four consecutive boosts. So far, so good. This thing has just got an amazing amount of, uh, of juice in it. But um, let me go ahead and wrap this up in a few minutes and give you some more details of what it's capable of, um, what the claims are, and what I think about it. All right, so the Gulu GP4000. A couple of uh, other points on it. It's got a 24,000 milliamp hour battery. That's basically 24 amp hours. Uh, they advertise 60 jump starts on this. It's got 10 fail safes, so you can, like, not that I recommend it, but you can short this out in, you know, three ways from Sunday, and it's going to kick off. It's going to break and stop today. Nah, you can't do that. Well, it's not going to say anything, but it's going to keep you from uh, exploding it. Overall, I'm really impressed. Uh, we've got four jump starts consecutive. Did a lawnmower, an outboard engine, a 90 horsepower outboard engine. A Subaru and a Tacoma truck and it just flew through those like it was nothing plus it still got a full charge so interesting uh, one thing I would do is periodically maintain the charge on these things pull them out check the charge hook it up use a uh, three amp charger if you've got one and it'll, it'll make the charging a lot faster um, they claim 24 months standby and it still won't hurt to check it periodically Another claim that the manufacturer makes, and I'm inclined to believe it, is that it will do anything from a small engine up to a 10 liter diesel engine. And uh, one last plus, I really like the case it comes in. You can store this in your vehicle somewhere. Um, kind of a little bulky, but definitely will protect it and keep it uh, handy for you to use. So do I recommend this? Uh, absolutely, I'm gonna keep one of these in the truck and definitely take one out with the boat when we go out. I'm always worried I'm going to drain all the batteries with the electronics and everything and kind of get stuck. Uh, with this, it'll start the engine right up. So anyway, yes, definitely recommend it. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, hit share and like, and don't forget to subscribe.